So let me show you this in Jeremiah 32, verse 8. It says, then Hanamel, my uncle's son, in other words, his cousin, came to me, that's Jeremiah, in the court of the prison according to the word of the Lord. In other words, the Lord had already told Jeremiah this would happen. And said to me, please buy my field that is in Anathoth, which is in the country of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance is yours. Notice, right of inheritance and the redemption yours. Buy it for yourself. Then I knew this was the word of the Lord. So I bought the field from Hanamel, the son of my uncle, who was in Anathoth, and weighed out to him the money, 17 shekels of silver. And I signed the deed, I signed it, I signed the deed and sealed it. Took witnesses and weighed the money on the scales. Verse 11, so I took the purchase deed, watch, both. Both, that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open. Okay, so Jeremiah speaks of two deeds here. He speaks of a sealed deed and an open deed. He also speaks of two rights, a right of inheritance and a right of redemption. So let me explain those to you, all right? Um, he said, my uncle's son came to me and said, buy this field back. What that means is his uncle had bought that field from his mother. Probably what had happened is that Jeremiah's father had died. And so the brother, the, the father's brother, the uncle, bought the field so the family would have money to live on. Because it was in the family of Jeremiah, Jeremiah then would have been the firstborn son because he had the right of redemption. So the cousin comes to him and says, hey, buy the field back. Now you're old enough. It probably happened, his father probably passed away when he was young, so they couldn't work the field, so they needed money. Now that he's grown up, they can work the field and make a, make a living. So he said, buy it back. And this is what he said, for the right of inheritance is yours. That means he's the firstborn son. So that means when the uncle dies, he's gonna get it back anyway. The field will go back to him. The right of inheritance is yours, and the right of redemption is yours. In other words, you're the nearest firstborn male. You're the nearest kinsman. You're the firstborn. You can buy it back. So you have the right of inheritance and the right of redemption. Okay, hold on to those, all right? Then you have a sealed deed and open deed. The sealed deed was the family that it belonged to. And that land always went back to the original family, the bloodline of that family always went back to them when someone would pass away. But there was an open deed so that if they needed to sell the land for money, they could take that deed and they could write on it whose name it was, like Hannah Mel, the uncle, but that seal deed always was with the original family. Okay, you say, well, what does all this mean? Well, uh, historically, it was that they were being taken out of the land for 70 years to be in captivity to Babylon, and God was saying, I want you to do this because I want to say to my people, you will again be brought back to this land, and you will own land again. That's what it meant historically. But what does it mean messianically? It is a type and a shadow of Jesus Christ himself because Jesus is the firstborn son. God gave the open deed to Adam and Eve, to the earth, the open deed. But God <laughs> kept the sealed deed. But he gives the open deed to Adam and Eve. They lost it to Satan. Satan actually said to Jesus when he was tempting them, remember this? All of these, all of the kingdoms of the world have been given to me. They've been given to me. They were given by Adam and Eve. And I want you to notice something when you read that in Matthew 4, he, he, Jesus uh, does not correct that statement. He doesn't say that's wrong because he knows it's right. So God gives the open deed to Adam and Eve. They lose it to Satan, but Jesus, who's the firstborn son, who has the right of inheritance, it's all coming back to him anyway, decides to exercise his option and redeem it and buy it back. And Jesus bought the authority and the dominion of this world back 2,000 years ago. And you can read it's really, it's a great read when you read Revelation. Revelation chapter 5, John says, And I looked and I saw in the hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll sealed. I think that's the sealed deed. And he said, and one of the elders said, one, a strong angel said, Who is worthy 
to take the seal and to the scroll and to break its seal or to loose its seal. And he says, I wept much because no one in heaven and earth was found worthy. And then one of the elders said to me, do not weep for behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. And it says he came forth and took the seal and opened it. And then they sang, worthy are you to receive glory and honor, riches and power because you have redeemed us he had the inheritance and he had the right of redemption. You have redeemed us to God out of every tribe, tongue, and nation, out of every ethnicity. You've redeemed us back to God and made us kings and priests. Jesus came.